Hey guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Dallas plumbing and how it's done, and we're gonna talk about it right now. So guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about plumbing here in Dallas. Now, plumbing in Dallas and plumbing across the nation is pretty much all done the same. But, there's certain different things about different codes. Here in Dallas, using the UPC, or other areas in Texas using the IPC, it depends on what code you use as to how things are done. So, I thought it'd be pretty cool to come out into a house that's under construction, and come in and show you things that I see, things that you may not ever see, that are in the wall where you'll know more about your plumbing system. And we're gonna do that now. So this is pretty cool. We're at the kitchen sink area. Now it probably doesn't look like that to you, but I actually see it and understand it. So what you have here, you've got an inch and a half arm sticking out for your kitchen drain, and you've got a two inch clean out plug. Now what I like about this is, if this P-trap ever gets full and stopped up and clogged, coming in this arm, you've got a clean out here above it that you can actually pull the plug on to run a sewer machine down through there. What I like about the way this is roughed in, there's not an arm in the wall. It literally goes straight in and goes straight down. So you don't have any horizontal line running to where it could get clogged up. Now, as you can see here too, you've got the cold water here on the right, hot water on the left, and there's a second stub out for hot water. And what that's for is to put in a valve so that you can catch the dishwasher on the other side. And as you see, since this is an island, there is no vent run out. Now, I like the old loop vent that they used to put in, but apparently since this is roughed in the way it is, what they're gonna do is they're gonna put a studer vent or an air admittance valve down here under the sink. Vents are a big deal in a plumbing system and we're gonna talk about those more in another video. One thing that I might've done is stub out another cold water line, gone back under the slab and over to the ice maker. The reason being, if you put a water filtration system just under the sink, you could tie your ice maker into it so the water you get out of your sink and the water that goes to your ice maker are automatically filtered, giving you better water and better ice. So here we are at the ice maker box. And as you can see, this is looped overhead. Now, since we've started using PEX, the let us loop more overhead and this is a two-story house, so we really don't have to worry about the lines freezing. I do like the fact that they've got them insulated because this is an exterior wall. Used to be what we would do is we would stub up a copper line and turn it out low and go ahead and insulate it. That way we knew that it wouldn't freeze also. So anyway, this is what it looks like with your ice maker line here in the wall of the kitchen. Now, like I said, this is a two-story house. So what we have here is we have a PVC line, this is a drain line, going upstairs and catching, it looks like, a bathroom, a full bathroom, and maybe even going over and catching an AC condensation drain or something. We'll talk about that more when we're upstairs. So being part of a Dallas plumbing company, I've done a lot of plumbing work in Dallas. And here's what I like, the black steel pipe for gas, I love that, that's old school. And remember, this is a two-story house, so even though the drain went up over there, your water lines to catch upstairs actually come up over here. So what they've done is they've looped the PEX line under the slab, come up through a PVC sleeve. Now you've got two water lines here that'll run upstairs and go across and help catch some of the bathroom plumbing upstairs. So guys, here we are, I like this. And this is something I've talked about a lot in the past. I love the fact that the water's looped in right here comes up, you've got a valve right here in the garage that shuts off the water to the entire house. Now in case of an emergency, depending on where the water heater is or if a fixture breaks, somebody, any homeowner, can actually come out, grab this valve and turn the water off immediately. The other thing that I like, there's a pressure reducing valve here. And what I like about this is, since home inspectors have started doing their job, they send out notifications saying water should be between 40 and 80 PSI. I love the fact that you have a pressure reducing valve here so you can actually set the water pressure so it helps save you money by making sure that the water pressure isn't so high it damages any of the plumbing products in your house. So guys, what we're looking at here, I would assume is a deck for two water heaters. What I like about it, they've got a one inch gas line. The reason I like that, if I ever wanted to come back in and put a tankless water heater here, chances are with a one inch gas line, I've got enough BTUs to do the job. The reason I said that there's probably two is you've got two drain lines up here. Now what these are probably for is the temperature and pressure relief valve coming off the top of the water heater. Now the only thing that I don't see that I would possibly think about is also putting a drain pan line in down low. 
meaning that there's a line going out through the wall so that you can set each one of these water heaters in a drain pan. In case they do leak, a drain pan will catch most of that water and take it straight outside. With the hot and cold water right here, cold on the right, hot on the left, the way they've got this set up, you can either pipe these two water heaters in series or parallel. So if you went in series, you would go into this water heater on the cold side here, come out of the hot, go into the cold, come out of the hot, and then go catch the house. If you were piping them parallel, you would come out and have two lines going to the cold side on each water heater, come here, two lines going to the hot side on each water heater. The reason these are tied together right now, they can do a water pressure test on the entire house and test everything, even without the water heaters here. So as you can see, we got a six inch vent pipe that are going up through the roof. The reason that's six, you can take these two water heaters, tie them together and take them out the same vent. Remember on a gas water heater, you know, you've always got a vent somewhere. This is it and they did a good job at it. So as you can see, I was talking about the one inch gas line. I love the fact they've brought in a big enough gas line to catch everything in this house. Even if you want to upgrade later. That's what I like about this. What I don't like about it, Electricity, oh my God, why would anybody ever be an electrician? That makes no sense whatsoever. But I gotta admit, the pink and purple wires are kinda cute. Kinda like the electricity, I know that's not plumbing, but this is your refrigerant lines for your HVAC system. So what that tells me is the condensers will set right out here, so you're gonna have two of them for two separate zones of the house. So for those of y'all that can't tell, I'm actually sitting in the shower. I know this is funny, but you see the water down here? What they're doing is they're doing a test on the shower pan right now for an inspection. They've also got a hot and cold line over here for a shower head. What I really don't like about it is when I stand up, this shower head is stubbed out just a little bit over my head. And you got to think about this. When this comes out and turns down and then gets a shower head on it, it's actually going to be so low, I'm going to have to duct to get under it, and I'm not a super tall guy. So this is actually what it looks like in the bathroom before anything goes in. This is where your toilet will be. I love the fact that they roughed in four inch. So what they'll do is cut it off flush with the floor after the flooring's put in, whether it's tile or wood or whatever, put the flange on top of that. They've got a valve here in the wall for your cold water. And then they've got hot and cold water stubbed out here for your lavatory and a full inch and a half arm coming over here and tying in to the vent on the toilet. What we have here is a dual lavatory. You've got a two inch line stubbed up with a sanitary cross, and then you've got two inch and a half arms going each way to catch the lavatories. You've got a hot and cold on each side and the vent that goes up. Remember, I talked about vents and how important they are. The vent help keeps the sewer gases from getting into your house and also helps balance the atmospheric pressure so the P-trap under your lavatory doesn't allow sewer gas to get in through there. So guys, what we have here is your washing machine box. Hot and cold water connections and a two inch P-trap and the vent going out the roof. One thing that I really like, it's got the inch and a half drain here in the floor. What that is for is they are putting pans in now for washing machines, setting the washing machine in the pan so that if by chance it does leak or overflow, it'll go down the drain. And since we are upstairs, that'll save these homeowners a lot of money from water damage in their house. So a couple of different things here. As you see, we've already got the toilet flange in. We're upstairs. So what they've done is they've already gone on and glued the flange on so they can fill it with water. What I like about that is the tub's under test. They've also got a line turned up on the lavatory so they can fill it up with water to get five feet of head pressure. And they can do this without having to cut into the vent system. This is really a pretty good job. I like the way it looks. So guys, what we have here are the two-way cleanouts that we're always looking for. Why are they so important? Well, the two-way cleanouts are outside your house, and this is where your sewer comes out and ties into the city sewer. And the reason a two-way cleanout is so important, the cleanout furthest away from your house goes down and angles back towards your house. The cleanout closest to your house comes down and angles out towards the city. The reason that's important is if we are doing a sewer water test here, what we would like to do is stick a test ball in here, stick it right between them. They literally make a U like that. So we stick it right down between it, and that's going to stop the water from coming down and going to the city drain. Then we can fill it up to this clean out, fill it up to the level of the slab. That way we know if there are any leaks under the slab on your house. As you can see, this is why it's so expensive to install these. We've literally got to dig a hole big enough 
to install a two-way clean-out system so that we can do a proper sewer test on the house. And this is something, as you can see, is very important. Believe it or not, when I first pull in the neighborhood, I'm actually looking in the streets to see if there's a manhole cover. The reason being, with this wastewater cover right here, I know the sewer drains out in the front of the house. So if this is an older neighborhood and they didn't rough in the two-way cleanouts up high, or maybe they didn't put them in at all, but at least I know with a manhole out front, I know where I need to look for them. So guys, as you see, we're talking plumbing in Dallas today. I've showed you the toilets, the restrooms, the kitchen, the gas, vents, water heaters, even the electrical panel. Guys, construction in Dallas, plumbing in Dallas, it's all the same. As long as you do it right and do it by code, you're not gonna have any problems. And we saw downstairs when we came in, they did get a green tag on this job. If you wanna learn more about plumbing, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And watch some of the other videos that we got where we talk more about plumbing in Dallas, Texas. I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.